Everyone knows what a crab is. They're sea creatures that have pincers and hard shells like these, right? Well, these aren't actually crabs. You've been lied to your whole life and I'm about to tell you the truth about crabs that no one is willing to talk about. In this video, we will be talking about fake crabs, disappearing crabs and global crab invasion. But before we get into that, we first need to talk about what a crab is. A crab, per the wiki definition, is a crustacean found chiefly on seashores with a broad carapace, stalked eyes and five pairs of legs, the first pair of which are modified as pincers. And there are around 7,000 species of true crabs and they all belong to the Brachiura family. Not many people actually know the true power of crabs. The crab physiognomy quite simply just mugs any and all other body types in the ocean. They are specifically evolved for domination. They have short tails that are tucked in that allow for them to strafe left and right to outmaneuver any of their predators slash prey. They also have insane regeneration abilities that allow for them to grow back full limbs. I mean, just look at this video here. Pulls his own arm off and keeps it pushing. That is the face of a crustacean that just doesn't care. Their eyes being on stalks also allows them to see in 360 degrees. Forget predators slash prey eyes, these are see everything at once to eyes. And finally, they're beginning to learn tool use. See that crab with a knife? Expert blade handling. Pretty soon he will be a formidable opponent on the streets of London. Now that we've talked about why real crabs are amazing and cool, now we can talk about why fake crabs are cringe and bad. There are five fake crab species that we'll be talking about today and they all belong to the Anomura family, also known as the fake crab family. Each are more disgusting than the last, but we have to talk about them, so let's just get right into it. They all underwent carcinization, which is just the crabification process, and like the fake crabs themselves, sounds completely fake. Just have a listen to what the official characteristics are for a fake crab. The carapace is flatter than it is broad and possesses lateral margins. The sternites are fused into a wide sternal plastron, which possesses a distinct imagination on its posterior margin, and the pleon is flattened and strongly bent in dorsal view, completely hiding the tergites of the fourth pleonal segment, and partially or completely covers the plastron. Now, that made almost zero sense to me, but I'm sure the marine biologists in the comments will be happy to explain why the pleon has to be flattened and strongly bent in dorsal view for it to be a fake crab. Nevertheless, the first of our fake crabs will be the porcelain crab, and immediately you can see why this particular fake crab isn't very impressive. They are absolutely tiny. They average around less than 15 millimeters, so about half an inch. And the thing I want to know is, why even bother with all these colors because no one can even see you? Anyway, these little nerds are filter feeders, meaning that they just suck in poop and eat it, and any creature that survives by eating poop, in my opinion, is definitely a loser. Go ahead and take your spot right next to the flies, worms, and cope pods. I know it's probably copper pods or something, but what are they going to do? Cope and see cope pods. These fake crabs appeared during the Tithonian period, around 150 million years ago, and around 50 million years after the real crabs. And in those 150 million years, they were just as tiny as they are now, which is pretty pathetic. You know what, I'll rank these fake crabs too. The porcelain crab gets a 4 out of 5 on the crabbiness because they look pretty crab-like. Well, at least compared to the other fake crabs on this list. A 1 out of 5 on coolness because eating poop is not cool. And um, a 2 out of 5 for vibes, I guess. So overall, they get a 2.3 out of 5, which is an okay -ish score. The King Crab is up next, and for a crab with the name King, you'd be expecting something regal and respectable. But no, you get this weird lanky spiny thing that for some reason is absolutely delicious. Apparently, these crabs caused quite a stir in the classification community because of some of the most pedantic shit ever. Originally, it was in the superfamily family of Pagaroidae Lithodidae, and in 2009, they changed it to the Lithodidoidae Lithodidae, only then to change it back in 2023. And there were multiple books and theses arguing either side, but at what point do you have to sit back and wonder? Could there have been a better use of your time? I wonder this, then I read further and realize that 
Marine biologists just love to be abnormal, and this is easily exemplified in how they name things. Just listen to this. King crabs have planktotrophic larvae that undergo four zoeal stages in the water column and a non-feeding intermediate glochotho stage which seeks appropriate habitats on the sea floor. Yeah, so the marine biologists are just taking the piss then. Who comes up with these names? First it was the tergites of the fourth planal segment, and now it's the planktotrophic larvae that undergo four zoeal stages. Maybe that's just my ignorance though as I studied real biology, human biology, not water cockroach biology. To rank the king crab on crabbiness though, I'll give it a 2 out of 5 because those long legs aren't really fooling anyone. Coolness will get a 2.5 out of 5 because they are extremely tasty, just like normal crabs, but that's about it for coolness. And for vibes, I'll give them a 2 as well, so overall they get a 2.16 out of 5, which is again, pretty okay. Next fake crab we have is the squat lobster. Now the word squat may trigger some PTSD for the landlords amongst us that have had to deal with the pernicious evils of squatters, but rest assured this has nothing to do with rentoids failing to pay, but with wannabe crabs. I have to say, very strange physiognomy for this imitation crab. It's almost as if a real crab was just stretched along its horizontal axis. Not only are these losers fake crabs, but they're also fake lobsters, so just fake all around. These crabs are scavengers and primarily eat dead animals that they come across. Again, eating these scraps and garbage that no one wants. They are also really stupid. They travel in huge numbers and because of this are sometimes fished because it's so easy to catch so many of them. Okay, that was actually wrong before, I'm gonna have to give out a trigger warning to any landlords who are still watching. They apparently squat into crevices or small openings, kind of like a hermit crab but Instead, their home is actually stuck to the ground instead of on their backs. So they actually are squatters and must be forcefully evicted. This will be reflected in the ratings, I can assure you. Crabbiness is going to have to be a 3 out of 5 because it's almost crabby, it's just a bit stretched. Coolness is going to be a 1 out of 5 because real cool people pay their rent plus tip, which this squatting lobster most definitely does not. And for vibes, it's getting a 1 out of 5. Not cool vibes at all. Overall a 1.6 out of 5, very poor performance. Next up is the hermit crab, or what I like to call them, the homeless of the ocean. These little poser crabs are the absolute worst. Their little shells that they carry around are basically the crab equivalent of a shopping cart that they just keep all their belongings in, and finally, when they run out of space, they just litter and drop it to the ground to find a bigger shopping cart. They also take part in what I like to call organised homelessness, which, if you've ever seen BBC Earth, you've probably seen this video of the hermit crabs all just milling around on a beach waiting for other hermit crabs to arrive. And then when enough of these unemployed bums have congregated, they all swap shells and continue being losers, only now in slightly larger shells. I wouldn't be surprised to hear that most of them are on Fent or some shit. And I doubt that any of them are actually gainfully employed either. Not like real crabs, who have developed the ability to write and have worked in part on the script for this video. Barely looks like a crab and carries around a weird shell shopping cart, so 1 out of 5 on crabbiness. Also, being unemployed is fun, but for only like 1 month and then it's basically hell, so also gonna get a 1 out of 5 on coolness. And for vibes it's also getting a 1 out of 5 because honestly, who knows what they're even doing back there in their shells. Probably trying to undermine the sovereignty of other crab species or some other evil shit. Not a vibe. 1 out of 5 overall for the hermit crab, expected to be honest. Finally, we have the coconut crab. Firstly, I must say, ew. Now we can continue. These are by far the ugliest of all the fake crabs. Not only are they extremely ugly, but they're also terrifying. Look at this absolute creature run backwards. It seems that being a fake crab does have its benefits when it comes to speed. While researching them, I checked out the conservation status of these crabs and it turns out thankfully that they're classified as vulnerable, meaning that they're well on their way to extinction. Cruel as it may sound, but I won't be shedding a tear for these crabs once they kick it. In fact, if they don't keep their distance and approach me, then best believe I will be speeding up the unconservation efforts. Just when you thought that the hermit crab was the only criminal crab on this fake list, it turns out that the coconut crab has the nickname of the robber crab because it likes to steal anything it can get its big ugly claws on. 
so homeless fence addicted hermit crabs and robber coconut crabs. Fake crabs are down horrendously. Surely the coconut crab can't get any worse, can it? Let me answer that for you. Yes. Yes, it can. The name crab is purely decorative as this crab can't even swim. If put in the water, it will literally drown. They also don't have lungs or gills, they have this weird combo of both and will drown in water and on land if they don't have the correct conditions for breathing. Quite literally the worst of both worlds. They have to moisten their air organ with water to be able to breathe, however, this organ doesn't work underwater for some reason. I think that's just about enough of the coconut crab for today. I feel pretty dirty even talking about this crab so you can forget about me rating it. So it's getting a big fat DQ for being extremely ugly. So all these fake crabs, what is their agenda? Why are they actually trying to be more crab like? Well, the nerd scientist will tell you it's because the crab shape is great evolutionarily speaking, however that's just globalist lies they tell to pacify you. The real reason that everything in the animal kingdom is becoming more crab like is because true crabs are actually aliens. Hear me out okay? Take a look at this UFO. Now take a look what happens when I add a few crab legs and pincers. Boom. Crabs are just UFOs. This would also explain why the US and Mexican governments have acknowledged the existence of aliens, but only as a way to throw people off the trail. Look at that weird alien thingy. They definitely just cooked that up in someone's kitchen. But if all crabs are secretly alien UFOs, then how come we haven't seen them transform or fly or anything? Well, firstly, because that's a stupid question. Do you really think that a superior life form would allow one of us to actually discover their secret? No. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's untraceable. We can observe their movement patterns as a way to prove this. In 2018, there were around 11 billion marine snow crabs in the Bering Sea. And only 3 years later did this number drop to only around 900 million. Meaning more than 10 billion marine crabs vanished in just 3 years. Now modern scientists claim it was due to global warming. <laughs> yeah right. The real reason that they vanished is because they were called back to their home alien world. To prepare for a total global invasion of Earth. Just think about it. The crab body is the perfect vehicle for planetary takeover. Think of the Zerg or the head crabs from Half-Life. Billions of crab-like creatures overrunning all major cities worldwide. Snow crabs are also true crabs, so is this the true power of being a true crab? Maybe, but it does explain this massive evolutionary race for other species to become as crab-like as possible. They definitely know something that we don't. I mean, crabs would most definitely have a reason to enslave us all. Just look at all the messed up shit that we're doing to them and their fellow marine life every day. I also may have made a deal with our new crab overlords, so if you see me atop the throne with the true king crab, then wave to me and I might be able to save you from crab enslavement. But anyway, that's all we have for today's video about the fake crab conspiracy. Like and subscribe and I'll save you from crab enslavement, otherwise you're on your own. But anyway, thanks for watching the video, hope to see you in the next one. Bye.